It was an unusual gathering at the Sultan Sea this morning. Demonstrations, uh, demonstrators rather, turning out to debunk the theory that the Earth is flat. News Channel 3's Jeremy Chan was there and shows us how this is more than just disproving fake science. Waves ripple through at the Salton Sea with a crowd of people gathered around. They aren't so much sightseeing, but demonstrating science by proving the Earth is round. There's been an increase in belief in the flat Earth, and um, we decided to sort of address this in person. It sounds like something straight out of a history textbook, but a group of flat earth believers were out at the Salt Lake, like Mark Sargent, a prominent member of the community, who was convinced after reading about it online. Nine months later, I'm banging my head on my computer, and I said, you know what, I'm going to go the other way with this. I'm not going to prove the globe anymore. I'm going to see if I could prove flat earth. Out to debunk the theory is James Underdown with the Independent Investigations Group, a nonprofit focused on using scientific means to investigate extraordinary claims. One demonstration involved a boat based target with horizontal stripes. We sent the boat out into the water and uh, the farther it goes, the more the stripes disappear. That's meant to prove the curvature of the Earth. However, the flat earthers disagreed, sparking debate. You guys think that's curved? And what I'm saying is I think it's perspective. So as the boat gets smaller like this, the waves that are close to us look bigger. Anyone convinced uh, from your group? Anyone convinced that there was this round <laughs> yet? Not a chance. It's flat. While the experiments at the Salton Sea were to establish one particular scientific fact, with the rise of fake news and the rise in pseudoscience, this group is trying to make sure that they're able to do their part to stamp it out. So to deny science and to uh, disregard and disrespect science, I think is a very unhealthy uh, thing that goes on in our society. Underdown says groups like Flat Earth are gaining numbers through social media. It's not a surprise to him. No minds were changed from Flat Earthers. That's a self-selecting group. They're obviously not convinced by all the other evidence that is out there that uh, proves and reinforces the idea of a globe Earth. Underdown hopes he can do his part to inform the public with scientific facts and analysis. But for now, the debates continue. It doesn't matter. If they're at 15 feet, we're at 15 feet. With no real wave of convincing for either side. Jeremy Chen, News Channel 3, Salton Sea. The group says around 30 people from the Flat Earth community attended the demonstration. And a fun fact, it will be profiled on National Geographic Explorer later this year.